In this video, I'm going to explain what directional changes are and how to find them. This is a new way to summarize key events in the market. Here, the state of a market is classified into upward and downward trends. The market is then summarized by events which indicate directional changes. The details of a summary depends on what we consider to be a significant price change. Suppose we consider 5% to be significant. Suppose the price of an asset in day 1 is 100. At this point, we don't know whether we are in an upward or downward trend. If the price goes up to 105, which is 5% above 100, then we conclude that the market is in an upward trend. If, on the other hand, the price drops to 95 before it reaches 105, then we say that we are in a downward trend. Suppose on day 2, price drops to 95. At this point, we conclude that we are on a downward trend. In a downward trend, we record the lowest price so far. The lowest price so far is 95. Suppose on day 3, the price goes up to 98. It is only 3% above 95. It is not a significant change according to our definition, which is 5%. We therefore still consider ourselves to be on a downward trend. Suppose the price drops to 90 on day 4. We record 90 as the lowest price in the current trend. Suppose the price goes up to 92 on day 5. It is only 2% above 90, which is less than 5%. So we still consider ourselves to be in a downward trend. Suppose the price goes up to 96 on day 6. Since 96 is more than 5% above 90, we conclude that a directional change has occurred. Now, in hindsight, we conclude that the price 90 on day 4 was an extreme point. We also confirm on day 6 in hindsight that the downward trend ended on day 4 and an upward trend started from there. In an upward trend, we record the highest price so far. The highest price in the current trend is 96. We are now watching out for the next downturn. Suppose subsequent price changes were 99, 97, 107, 110, 108, and 104. 97 is only 2% below 99, the highest point in the current trend, so it does not signal a directional change of our interest. 104, on the other hand, is more than 5% below 110, the highest price in the current trend. So we conclude on day 12 at the price of 104 that a downturn directional change has occurred. We conclude in hindsight that the price 110 on day 10 was an extreme point from where a downward trend started. We define the price changes from 90 on day 4 to 96 on day 6, a directional change event. The price changes from 96 on day 6 to 110 on day 10 is an overshoot event. This is followed by another directional change event on day 10 and an overshoot event on day 12. To summarize, the market alternates between downward and upward trends. In each trend, there is a directional change event followed by an overshoot event. This is a new way to summarize events in the market.